road she traveled. And our women who made a difference. A Kula Kids gift to our community. A name of her own, Shirley Homan, portrayed by Emily. I wanted to make a name for myself. I had a wish to be known, to be a role model and help people out. I was determined to succeed and become a leader. I wanted my voice out. It all started back when I was born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I went to school at Downer, which is now a part of Lawrence campus. I then married and moved to Louisiana. My husband joined the Air Force. He was admitted to Purdue University, so we moved once more, this time to Indiana. After that, we moved up here in La Crosse. I started spending my time doing volunteer work at nursing homes. I really enjoyed meeting a lot of fine citizens. Some of the people at these homes actually helped to motivate me later in my life. A while after I moved, they formed a commission in aging in La Crosse, where I applied and was appointed. Then I decided to run for the board, mainly because there were hardly any women represented. I thought they needed someone like myself, and I wanted some attention, because I had a voice, and I wanted it heard in this new city I was in. I ran for public office on the Cross County Board and was actually elected in 1978. My first goal on the county board was to help senior citizens. I realized this goal after working in the nursing homes. I worked intensely and essentially was able to start a mini bus program to help transfer the aged and another program called Meals for Seniors. Both are still running. <laughs> Soon after, in 1981, my friend and I were able to launch a corporation called Gifted Hands, which is a small senior craft store. Seniors can make their own homemade crafts, bring them in, and decide what they're worth. Then we add in another 20%. That way, when it is sold, they get the price they ask for. I am very proud of this program because it is still going strong 25 years later. In addition, I also spent a substantial amount of time with solid waste. I circulated throughout the community and informed people all about it. They were clueless to what I was talking about. After a ton of hard work, I was able to help establish Household Hazardous Waste, a program that teaches people about solid waste and where they should properly dispose of it. Then I started working with the WCA, also known as the Wisconsin Counties Association. There, I started as a vice chairman and worked my way up to become the president of it. I even got to go to Germany with the governor on a trade mission. becoming the vice chairwoman on the county board. I would conduct the county board meetings if the chairman couldn't attend. I was on the county board for a long time. I guess you could say I became a woman of many talents. I couldn't stick to one thing. I had to be involved in many projects. All these programs and organizations just came my way and I couldn't turn them down. I loved all I did though. I got to travel, help people, and make a difference. I truly believe I'm lucky to have done all I have. I'm blessed. I don't know exactly what I would change if I went back and started over, but I do know I have exceeded a dream of mine. To be known, I've done a lot. My voice came out. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.